I really don't like it. I don't like Pokemons, and I don't like the fact that people always stop in the road and get in my way. I live in New York. But Pokemon Go is taking over the gaming world, so we thought we'd do a video about it. Just this week alone, my friends have asked me four times to go out to the park with them and try and catch them all. And they just can't seem to put the game down. They've been sneakily playing it at work. I just can't do this. So why are we so addicted to Pokemon? Here's five reasons why some assumably normal people can't stop playing Pokemon Go. Number one is human connectivity. Humans are highly social creatures. Our evolutionary survival depended on being able to work together in groups. We're also unique in being the only animals that enjoy interacting with members of other species, like pets. So it's almost natural that we love Pokemons as pets too. Pokemon Go exploits our basic desire for social interaction, and the app physically brings people together with features such as Poker Stops, which are real world locations that hold goodies such as Pokeballs and Lures, which attract rare Pokemon to the area. Number two is the reward factor. Pokemon Go activates the reward pathways in our brain the same way that cocaine does and causes a release of dopamine, even for something as simple as catching a rare Pokemon. Pokemon Go meets the six core motivations for people to play video games. Action, social experience, mastery, immersion, creativity, and most importantly, achievement experiences. A 2015 study published in Computers and Human Behavior showed that players are much more likely to be addicted to a game with rewards or trophies since it gives them an incentive to keep playing. Pokemon Go gives us a sense of accomplishment by encouraging us to expand our Pokemon collection and grow our inventory of items. Number three is FOMO. The reason that we all go out to parties that we don't want to go to and times that we really shouldn't be outside of the house, that's FOMO and it's the same with Pokemon Go. And FOMO is actually really based in fear. FOMO is a natural phenomena and it's been heightened in Pokemon Go due to our exposure to social media. This phenomena uses the theory of loss aversion, an intrinsic tendency for humans to avoid losses at all costs. We're more afraid to lose than we are happy to win and this factor plays a big role in our decision making and behavior since we don't want to miss out on all the fun. The hype created by social media and the conversations surrounding Pokemon Go makes it hard to stay away and it only works to draw us back into this addictive game. Number four is novelty. Our brain has a natural love of new things, whether it's changes in our environment that we need to check out, or a new article of clothing, or a new video game in the case of Pokemon Go. Humans are prone to liking new things because the change stimulates our brain and it's what inspires us to explore and create and to learn and to be annoying on the street when we're playing Pokemon Go. This characteristic is deeply rooted in our being. This characteristic is kind of good because it's allowed us to adapt to a changing environment. But Pokemon Go mixes the familiar world of Pokemon with a new technology to create what's known as an augmented reality. So for instance, water Pokemon can be found near a pond or lake, while bug type Pokemon are found in grassy regions. We're still fascinated by augmented reality because it combines the fun of Pokemon with the technology of virtual reality without all the complicated gear. And lastly, accessibility. Since it doesn't require fancy technology or any special equipment, Pokemon Go is extremely accessible and portable. So any idiot with a smartphone or a tablet can get out and start playing Pokemon Go immediately. The Pokemon Go craze has gotten so bad that New York police had to issue an advisory telling people to look where they're going and stay safe. But they're not kidding because it's pretty damn obvious. If you are near a place where there's rare Pokemon, you know that there's going to be people around wandering in with their brand new smartphones and you make a really obvious robbery target. And that's probably why a lot of people have been robbed playing Pokemon Go. So guys, please look where you're going. I don't really care what you play, just don't get in my way. So what are your thoughts on Pokemon Go? I'm sorry to be the stickler. Are you addicted to the game? I'm sorry if you are. And if you are, what makes it fun for you? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Good luck in your Pokemon adventures.